When you receive your mickle pegs, they'll come assembled together like this. The spring is in the cover. Don't damage the spring. They're pretty expensive. I'll cover that a little bit later. And also don't mix the parts right and left. Some of the parts are the same, but many of them are different. First thing you do is remove the center pivot bolt. There's a spring under there. Once you get the bolt out, kind of pry it off. You notice the cover spins. A little bit of grease there to cut down friction. So you want to keep the dirt out of that. And it gives you access to the two mounting bolts that are recessed. Remove these two mounting bolts. And I've got a cordless drill here to make this process a little faster. On your block, on the left side, it'll have the model number and L for left. We'll go down here. The engine guards on many of the gold wings are not symmetrical. Uh, the 1800 gold wing, the right engine guard is about a half inch farther forward than the left. So what I do on the model DD, which is our most popular model, is I mount that one on the left first. Take the clamp and slide it behind the engine guard and the block over that. Now with D model DD, you'll be mounting the blocks basically square with the ground or horizontal or vertical, if you want to, whichever way you want to refer to it. When you mount the block, mount it just snugly at first so that you can move it. See, I can move the block. Then with just the pivot bolt that comes from this cover, put that in the leg. And just turn it, put it in a couple of turns. On the peg, take the peg bolt out. On the model DD, the pegs face inboard. Most of the models, the pegs face outboard, but there's a few models where the pegs face inboard. Look at your specific model for instructions. The reason I don't have the cover on is we want to find out where we want the block mounted. What I look for is just a little bit of clearance between the uh, peg and the valve cover. What I'm doing is sliding it forward a little bit. And that's a little close. I'm just barely touching. Sometimes it will, will hit the valve cover maybe. I'm going to back it off just a little bit. So that I have at least an eighth of an inch there, clearance. Then I'm going to take the pivot bolt out. I've got my location where I want it. Take the cover. You can see the exposed end of the spring sticking up here. That goes into the small hole at the end of the leg. And some of the legs will have a, two holes, some three holes. They're just referred to your specific instructions for the model you get. Once you get it in this place, keep the leg and the cover together so the spring doesn't come out of that hole. We'll need to tighten the block. This doesn't have to be real tight on model DD. Down this way, it's trying to twist the block this way, not rotating it. I 
I'm kind of pulling out on the leg to hold it against the cover. Get down about finger tight, back it off about a quarter of a turn, and pulling the leg out again. Then rotate the cover, that lifts the leg. When the leg's all the way up, the cover's almost square, so rotate a little bit more, push in on it. The roll pins will hold it in place. Then go ahead and tighten the center pivot bolt. And you're all set to go. Occasionally you'll want to move the block. And after you've loosened up the mounting bolts, you'll find that it's still stuck to the bar. That's by design. It's a nice tight fit. Take the leg without the cover. Don't hit it with a hammer to get it to move. Use the uh, leg for leverage. Just pry down or pry up to get it to move. Now this is a model KA. If you get it up a high enough angle, about 45 degrees, the leg will be almost touching the valve cover. Just do a little room in there. Most people, we start off mounting at about 30 degrees. You'll have a little more than an inch clearance at the valve cover. Again, this applies to the KA, the KD, or the KL. They all look the same in the up position. I'm going to tighten these. When tightening the mounting bolts, do a little bit of time, one side and the other, so you're pulling the clamp up evenly. And with the KA, KD, and KL, and any others where the peg is out, the mounting bolts will be a little, need to be a little bit tighter than with the model DD. And then the same mounting procedure as before. Expose end, end of the spring into the small hole of the leg. Some people wonder about dragging in the corners. This one's been used a bit. You'll see that the corner's been dragged off. That's on the bottom of the valve cover used with like a model DD.